Have you ever finished designing in product structure only to see that some of your beam members failed? That is, they turned red. Most times, the reason is simple. It's due to bending moment or shear failure. In this video, I'll walk you through why those failures happen and what changes you can make to fix them. I'm Miracle Okeke Richard. Welcome to Sangos Engineering. And in this channel, I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. This is the building I just finished designing in this software, Protax Structure. And as you can see, this beam on red failed. Look at it. Once it's on red, that means it failed. Why? Once it's on green, that means it passed the design. So this beam now on red failed. So let me come over to plan view. So this is my plan view. So let me check the reason why this beam failed. So I'll click on it. Then I'll right click. Then I'll click on this section design. So after clicking on the section design, this is the dialog box that appeared. So if you can see, I'm having a red color here. I'm having a red color. I'm having a red color. So if you can see, here is the area of C provided. Provided. This is the area of stay provided. Why this is the area of stay required? Look at it. It means that to counter the moment acting on this beam, that we need to provide this amount of area of stay. We need to provide this amount of area of stay. But this software have provided area of stay, but it not provide up to this amount. That is why we are still having minus 15, minus 55. That's why, because it hasn't provided enough area of stay. So to increase the area of stay, what we are going to do here, you just will come here and click on this. Yes, if you click on this, it's 3 y 16 Now, you can, if you can see now, it's not passing. Yes, because I've provided enough area of stay. That means in this case now, I provided SS. I'm having additional one for 45.2 area of stay additional 145 so the ones of green are the additional why this one is still remaining 130 130.24 millimeter square area of stay so to increase to make it pass i'll come and click i'll click on this so if you can see that it's not passing sometimes if you're not getting up to something like 4y20 or 4 or 2y25 you can just decide to increase the beam depth if it is failing you can decide to increase the beam depth by coming over to this point click on this once you click on this a dialog box will appear you shake the beam that is failing and increase its beam depth so let me say let me take it that is this beam that okay let's take it that it is this beam that is failing so i'll come over here and click here if you can see it's now on this beam so i'll change the deep beam depth to let me say now increase it to 600 and then click on okay if you see it has increased but in this case since this is a g plus one four i'll just leave it as 450 and only increase I'll just leave it as 450 and only increase my labor. I'll leave it as 450 and increase my labor only. So if you can see that it is not passing, it is not passing. What if, if the link is failing? So if the link is failing, what you do is that you click on this, then you decrease this link spacing. You decrease the link spacing for it to pass. That's if link is failing. So but now the link is not failing. So I'll increase this thing back to 300. So that's how to solve this link failure. That is how to, this one is called shear failure. So that's how to solve this shear failure. Just dec decrease the link spacing. You decrease the link spacing. Why if you are seeing lead here, for example, as me, I'm having lead here. For example, let me let me increase this thing now. Uh, as you can see, that this is not lead in color. This is not lead in color. What this thing means is that there is no spacing between your bars. Let me just explain it now. Let me come over to this detailed drawing and explain why this thing is red in color. So let me click on this detailed drawing. Let's arrive right to road. So if you see that it has now opened, so look at it here. What it means is that I'm having one, two, three, four, five. That's five numbers of bar. It is failing because the spacing between this bar and this bar is too small. Uh, if you see, it's showing you 18. So that means this, but I'll advise you, make sure that the spacing between this bar and this bar is no less than is no less than 20 millimeter. Because the aggregate, that's the gravel, the cost aggregate, which is the gravel we are using on site, is three quarter, which is which has a size of 20 millimeter. That means if it is if here is less than 20 millimeter. That means your gravel will not be able to pass through this reinforcement. So we need here to be 20 millimeters. So let's go back. So let's go back. I'll escape. So if I, if you can see I'm having five five y sixteen. So that is why I'm having 18. But since this I'm having 18, 18 is less 18 is less than 20. That means what I'll do is that I will come here, decrease this. Uh, I'm having 30. You can leave it at 30 because 30 is more than 20. Your aggregate is your quartz aggregate is 20 millimeter, but I'm having 30 millimeter here, so you can still leave it, it will stay past. So, but now what I'll do now, as me, I want to increase it to 5, what I'll do now is that I'll come and add another button bar. That's what I'll do now. I'll come here and add another button bar. If I add another button bar, it is not feeling in share. So, what I'll do now is I'll click, I'll click this and then decrease the, and then decrease the spacing. I can decrease the spacing to 225. If you see that, it is not passing. I don't know whether you understand what I explained. So, your beam can either fail as a result of bending. Uh, if you fail it, that means you have not provided enough reinforcement to counter the bending moment. That means it's asking you to provide enough reinforcement. If it fails it, that means it, it fails as a result of shear. That means you have to decrease your spacing or increase your beam depth. Here, if you also fail it, you can increase the number of reinforcement. But here, if it fails it, you either increase you either decrease your spacing or increase your beam depth. Even here, you can increase your beam depth. Why if it fails here? 
that means if it fails here you should ensure that here is not less than 20 millimeter if it's less than 20 millimeter that means you have to it, it, that means you have to include another bottom bar look at this support bottom bar if it is less than 20 millimeter because your coarse aggregates is 20 millimeter 